It also said that its initial analysis has not revealed any real-world attacks employing this vulnerability, CV-20157755. If you're using a NetScreen device with screen 6.2.0R15 through 6.2.0R18 and 6.3.0R12 through 6.3.0R20, you need to install the new updates as soon as possible. The document described the technique nicknamed Fedra, which is used to keep two kinds of software implants on a Juniper NetScreen fee while. What should customers do? Is there a workaround? No. It's not yet clear what if any classified information could be affected. But USA officials said the Juniper Network's equipment is so widely used that it may take some time to determine what damage was done. How was this discovered? According to Juniper's disclosure, the company has detected spying code embedded in certain versions of its Screenos operating system. Juniper has released critical patches to fix the problems. Bob Wirral, Juniper Chief Information Officer, said they identified an authorized code in Screenos during a recent internal code review. What are the specifics of the vulnerabilities? Ronald Prince from Dutch security firm Foxit indicated that Juniper's patch may have increased the risks of the exploitation of devices that are still vulnerable. Juniper warns that this could lead to a complete compromise of the affected system. While log files would reflect a login attempt, Juniper acknowledged that a skilled attacker would probably remove these entries from the log file, thus wiping out signs indicating that the device had been compromised. What about the second issue? The so-called backdoor code issue would allow to anyone who was aware to entering the file as an administrator decrypt or modify data on secure traffic and then make any trace of their activity disappear. It is independent of the first issue. The obvious question is, how did the nefarious code get into the software to begin with? Also around 2013 Redwood Snowden's allegations that NSA and other United States intelligence agencies intercept and alter technology products on a regular basis. How long has this malicious code been there? What functions do these devices perform? Juniper's disclosure has prompted an investigation by the FBI into whether NON-U.S. Governments were seeking to access the encrypted communication of U.S. government employees, reported CNN. Businesses using unpatched firewalls are under the risks of having all the network traffic routed through a VPN being read by an attacker and having additional app-style code installed on their systems, Shannon says.